Now we will discuss the false Armageddon. As I mentioned before, in order to comprehend this false Armageddon, it is essential for you to understand when the real Armageddon, the great battle of Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39 takes place. Can it be possible to practically pinpoint the exact moment this significant battle occurs? Astonishingly, we can. All we need to know is which chapter and verses to read. And the word of Yahuwah came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Gog, of the land of Magog, the prince of Rosh, Meshach, and Tubal, and prophesy against him. And you shall say, Thus says the Master Yahuwah, See, I am against you, O Gog, the prince of Rosh, Meshach, and Tubal. And I shall turn you around, and I shall put hooks into your jaws, and shall lead you out, with all your army, horses and horsemen, clad perfectly. A great assembly with armor and shields, all of them handling swords. Persia, Cush, and Putar with them, all of them with shield and helmet, Gomer and all its bands, the house of Togarma from the far north, and all its hands, many peoples with you. Be ready, prepare yourself, you and all your assemblies that are assembled unto you. And you shall be a guard for them. Since all nations, that is, the Gentiles are preparing against true Israel, this battle will be of monstrous proportions, as we read the following, certain key words should jump out at us. After many days you shall be called up. In the latter years you shall come into the land of those brought back from the sword, and gathered from many people on the mountains of Israel, which has been a continual waste. But, they were brought out of the Gentiles, all of them shall dwell safely. Wow, this verse is a real eye-opener. Not only do we learn that this battle takes place after many days, but since the believers are grafted into Israel, the army will be against those, the believers who have been gathered from among the Gentiles, that is, the nations. Scriptures reveal to us that Israel, the believers will not be gathered until after the great distress, known as, the Great Tribulation. This great distress is after the beginning of sorrows and takes place during the reign of the son of perdition. Simply knowing when believers will be gathered should solve a great mystery to us. But, in those days, after that distress, the sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give its light, and the stars of heaven shall fall, and the powers in the heaven shall be shaken. And then, they shall see the son of Adam coming in the clouds with much power and esteem. Believers, the Bride of Messiah, will be gathered after the great distress, not before. Getting this time frame confused with the beginning of sorrows could cause one to end up at the wrong marriage. Yikes, marrying the wrong husband would not only be frightened but deadly poisonous. And, you shall go up like a storm, this will be a huge army, covering the land like a cloud. You and all your bands and many peoples with you. Thus said the Master Yahuwah, and it shall be in that day that words arise in your heart, and you shall devise an evil plan, and you shall say, Let me go up against a land of unhiled villages, let me go to those at rest who dwell safely. All of them dwelling without walls, and having neither bars nor gates, to take plunder and to take booty, to stretch out your hand against the waste places that are inhabited and against a people gathered from the Gentiles, acquiring livestock and goods, who dwell in the middle of the land, Amazingly, the key words are jumping like hot cakes. Watch how the sequence of events unfold. Revealing that these people who have been gathered from amongst the Gentiles, that is, the nations are dwelling in safety and are at rest, please note, twice this is mentioned, there is no possible way this great battle can occur before the return of the Messiah Yahushua. You see, as long as believers remain in this world, they are to be working in the field the earth doing Yahuwah's work, which is spreading the good news. This work remains up until the seventh trumpet, then, it is clock out time. Since believers are enemies of this world, there will be no safety. Israel, who is the bride will not fully be able to rest until after Satan is totally destroyed. You can slam dunk this heresy of the great battle taking place over there in the so-called, promised land. This land of Israel has never dwelt in safety. The Kodesh ones will inhabit the land in safety during the thousand-year reign of Messiah, 
Yahushua. How, is this possible? The dragon is locked up. Sadly, the key has not been destroyed. As you will soon discover, the dragon will be released for a short season. Therefore, son of man, prophesy, and you shall say to Gog, Thus said the master Yahuwah, In that day when my people Israel dwell in safety, would you not know? Yahuwah is trying to tell you something here. Three times he says this battle will take place when his people, Israel, dwell in safety. And it shall be on that day, on the day when Gog comes against the land of Israel, declares the Master Yahuwah, that my wrath shall come up on my face, for in my jealousy and in the fire of my wrath I have spoken, on that day there shall be a great shaking in the land of Israel so that the fish of the sea and the birds of the heavens, and the beast of the field, and all creeping creatures that creep on the earth, and all men who are on the face of the earth shall shake at my presence. And the mountains shall be thrown down and the steep places shall fall, and every wall fall to the ground. Clearly, the time frame when this great battle occurs is after the thousand year reign of Messiah. While, the dragon, is locked up. The dragon will be released for a short time before it is utterly destroyed by Yahuwah's wrath. Therefore, thus said the Master Yahuwah, now I am going to bring back the captive of Jacob. And I shall have compassion on all the house of Israel, and shall be jealous for my set-apart name, and they shall have borne their shame, and all their trespass they committed against me, when they dwell safely in their own land, with none of them to make them afraid, when I have brought them back from the peoples and gathered them out of the land of their enemies. And, I shall be set apart in them before the eyes of many Gentiles. And they shall know that I am Yahuwah their mighty one who sent them into exile among the Gentiles, and then, gathered them back to their own land, and left none of them behind. The great battle of Ezekiel chapter 38 and 39 is the same battle that takes place in the book of Revelation. Notice just before the great battle what happened to the dragon. Hint, it is released. And, I saw a messenger coming down from the heaven, having the key to the pit of the deep and a great chain in his hand, and he seized the dragon, the serpent of old, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years, and he threw him into the pit of the deep, and shut him up, and set a seal on him, so that he should lead the nations no more astray until the thousand years were ended and after that, he has to be released for a little while. While the dragon is locked up, we will have rest and dwell safely. This does not take place until after the false regathering. According to Matthew 24-22, the 42-month reign may be shortened. After the thousand years, the dragon is permitted to deceive the nations one last time. He will then manage to deceive the Gentiles to come against Israel when she, that is, the bride, is living in safety. And when the thousand years have ended, Satan shall be released from his prison, and he shall go out to lead the nations astray, which are in the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them together for battle, whose number is as the sand of the sea. And they came up over the breadth of the earth and surrounded the camp of the set-apart ones and their beloved city. And fire came down from Elohim out of the heaven and consumed them. Revelation chapter 20 verses 7 through 9 To understand why these events would be duplicated, you must know about the son of perdition, and what its desire is.